What's up guys, Shaka Bunch of Fury, as you saw in that uh, first clip there, um, this is what this tutorial is pretty much all about, uh, music syncing or audio sync or whatever you want to call it, um, and then as you see in this clip right here, this is pretty much doing it as well, um, this was on my last OC if you guys didn't check that out, um, link will be in the description, so uh, let's go and get started. Um, let's open up Sony Vegas and get our clip and music in. So, as you can see, this music has a lot of audio levels. So, what we're going to do is find where, pretty much where you want the, uh, what your music sync to be to. So, I'm going to find a clip or a spot in my audio track and... Probably right there is where I'm going to end it. Um, I'm going to undo that split. And forgot to mention, always disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And let's strike this back over. Right there, where the beat goes, I want that to be where my first shot is. So what you want to do is back the clip up. right there which is like perfect for lining up so what we're going to do to slow this down is we're going to click on our video track and we're going to go to where he zooms in and we're going to go over three keyframes just like that we're going to zoom in click and drag this over if you saw my twixter tutorial you know exactly what you're doing right now um if you didn't check that out recommend you see that will help out a lot with uh, Twixer settings and whatnot. So right, click and drag this over to actually to right there. As you can see right where that's where the beat drops right there. And we're gonna have this line up with the shot. Actually, we're gonna back that up. Just like that, and we're, it should line up together just like that. Just in time for this shot, which is right about around this area. Um, this tutorial isn't gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be somewhat, um, just a brief way of what you know what you're doing, basically. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Just like that. And I'm not going to pre under that. So that's pretty much a pretty good start. So, what we're going to do for the rest is I'm actually going to change the direction of this uh, the beat where I'm going for. So. Just like that and what you want to do basically for every um, beat that you hear so let's go to where the audio drops whoops let's zoom in and what you want to do on every pretty much on every part where you want the shot to line up a very very like helpful way to do this and it'll probably be like the best way is go to insert marker or by just by pressing M on your uh, keyboard on every part you want to, um, every part you want the shot to be to. So we're gonna just hit play and go along with the song and hit M to every shot that you want to be, like pretty much where the kills want to be. Just like that. Except I'm gonna delete this last one. And. So, every marker is where I want my shot to be. So, in order to do this shot, which the other two shots are lined up pretty good. So, in order to do this shot, 
what we're gonna do next is use Twixter basically to slow it down to make it look better regular three keyframes and split it click and drag our Twixter effect on click and drag our timeline over or our clip hit shift B and I know you guys probably wouldn't want to hear this song anymore because it the song does get annoying I admit that usually when you're editing most songs get annoying as you go along with it but that's pretty much the tutorial I mean after you get them pretty much where you want the uh, lineups to be that's pretty much it so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if I missed anything please comment um, tell me how I did and I'll see you guys later peace